Oh yeah, I get to paint. three weeks since my last episode in my in my regular job I'm a developer and it my, my job is punctuated with four months of it just kicking my ass while we build up to a release and then after the release I get four months of my job not at all kicking my ass which is a pretty good trade-off anyway I just got through with one of those four month ass kickings and, uh, and now I'm ready to focus on the Tomos. I'll probably get back to where I was uh, trying to release an episode every weekend. I should get pretty close to that anyway. And, uh, and here's the first one. I got to paint. Before I start painting, I gotta take care of this gas tank. And this is something you guys have already seen before. Just throwing some acetone in there, getting the rust and grease out of it, then hitting it with some phosphoric acid just to etch the metal and drying it out. Alright, so it looks pretty good in there. The thing is, is I'm not going to actually coat this thing uh, for two days because I'm splitting the can of coating with my, with my little brother and he's prepping his tank. So this has got to sit for two days, and I'm worried about it flash rusting. So I've got a plan. I'm going to um, seal it off, and I'm going to fill it up with uh, with some argon from my um, from my welder, so that it's not getting oxygen in there and not rusting. I, I don't actually know if that's going to work. I did look up on the Google that argon is heavier than air, so it should just kind of settle down into the tank, shoving out all the air, then I'll put the top on, and I should have a can full of argon, right? I, that's what I'm guessing. So, that's what I'm doing. Whether or not it's going to actually do anything or not, I don't know, but I'm going to do that. that I'm not really too worried about leaking out of the vented cap because like I said it's heavier than air so it should just be settling down so as long as I leave the tank in that orientation I should just have a tank full of Argo. That might be stupid, I don't know. Actually you know what, I got to thinking now that I have this tank full of argon and I've cleaned it out really well, um, I've got this, you see how there's like these stress fractures? I need to weld those. And uh, I've always read that it's a real bad idea to weld on a gas tank. Because um, the spark caused it to go boom. Um, but since it's clean and I filled it up with argon gas I'm guessing that if there was ever a time to weld on this thing and fix that it's right this minute so uh, so this might go viral if this thing blows up and I die um, I might get more views than ever but uh, <laughs> hopefully I don't so, I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to weld this tank up. Woohoo! I didn't die! 
Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. I burned through the metal a little bit right there, and that's a little boogery, but I'll grind those down, and actually that's going to come out all right. That's all I needed was just a little bit of structure there. I probably should weld a whole nother piece of metal on top, but I'm going with that. That's it's just a moped. Alright, I'm calling that done. Two days I'm going to come back and I'll coat this tank. Um, give it a final sanding before paint and then this tank is done. Two days later, Brother Greg showed up with a case of beer. Beautiful weather. We coated the tank. Called it done. It's 68 degrees outside. I wasn't planning on painting the bike this early, but I mean, it's so warm. I think I have to take advantage of it. So I called in sick to work and, uh, and, uh, I've been here. It's, it's noon now. I got here around 745 thinking, oh, I'll be painting by 10. Uh, my ass. I, uh, I spent the time sanding everything. And I mean, everything. Uh, and getting it perfect. I still have to uh, to wipe it all down, uh, but I got my paint gun set up, um, and uh, and yeah, God, I still got a lot of stuff to do. Actually, I've got to hang drop cloths around to make a little paint booth in here. Um, I did go ahead and get wires hanging from the ceilings so I can hang everything, um, but. Next step is to, um, to, to clean all this, do a once over on cleaning, and then I'll come back through and I'll clean it one more time right before I spray, but uh, yeah, it's time to clean and mask off. Then I'll, uh, then I'll come through and I'll hang those drop cloths, and, uh, and then it's time to paint. So anyway, I wasn't expecting to do it this early, but hey, you gotta make hay while the hay making is sun is shining making hay making sun while the hay is shining let's do it my little paint shop uh, set up in the uh, by the door of my workshop um, and here I'm I'm getting ready to pour the primer uh, I got my gun already with a with a desiccant and a and a pressure gauge and uh, and it's ready to go so uh, I'm gonna prime I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in make sure I filter it and then um, and then next time you see me we'll be spraying and I guess it did two coats of primer and I went off without a hitch. It was maybe a little bit thick. I might cut up thinned it just a touch but um, but really no issues at all. Now I'm getting ready to spray the color. Uh, I spray a little tester right there to make sure my pattern's good and, uh, and then I go for it.
Typical Virginia fall. Yesterday was 65 degrees. Today was 40, if that. So I'm not sure how much these things got a chance to cure. They're still a little bit tacky. I put the uh, heater on there about 4 o'clock this afternoon. It's now 8. So I had 4 hours or so under this heat. Um, and they're starting to set up. I think I'm going to leave them another night before I start pulling them down. I did get all the tape off and everything and I know some of you are out there going you know David isn't that a lot of work to go through for a moped and to those people I say yes yes it is so you can see it came out all right you know let's look at the gas tank it gives you a good there's a big old plane That's, that's pretty good. The color is a bit different than I thought it was going to be. I, you know, I bought this pearlescent paint. I thought it was going to be, you know, kind of more bluish than greenish. But um, I, I still like it. That's not exactly what I wanted, but, but it's all right. I only had one drip, and that was here on the front fender right stinking there oh well and it's in the it's in the color it's in the color coat too so I'm not gonna be able to sand it out or anything so that's there forever but I think that's kinda underneath the forks so I'm not too worried about it and the forks came out good yeah all in all I'm I'm pretty darn pleased I think if I had any lessons learned that I would take away from it, um, one of them is always buy more paint than you think you're going to need. I, I was scrimping. I was scrimping. I had plenty of primer, but on the color and, uh, and clear coats, I pretty much just did two good coats on, it, on every piece. I, I wish I could have had three or four coats. I probably needed double the paint that I got. Um, the second thing is I wouldn't have hung them so damn close together. I was bumping into those things and then f having to fix it uh, left and right, you know. As I'd be painting one piece, I'd be bumping into another piece. I should have I spread those out a lot more, but I, I wanted to keep it small because I was building a little paint booth and... Oh, that was stupid. I should have I should have should have taken my time and done it right. But once again, I can't complain. I think they look pretty darn good. Now I'm going to let them dry some more and get on to some other stuff.